Let's start by looking at the diode. And if you look, the diode has got this silver on this side, but it doesn't have the silver on this side. And this shows us that if we want current to flow, the silver side has to be connected to the negative side of the power supply and the side without the silver to the positive terminal of the power supply. So that's how we're going to connect it to begin with. So we've got the diode, we've got the resistor. This is a 33 ohm resistor to make sure we don't get too much current. We're going to need a variable power supply. We're also going to need some connecting leads, a voltmeter and an ammeter. So let's get started and connect this up. So the first thing that we're going to do is connect from the positive terminal of the power supply. So that's the red end of the power supply. And we're going to go to the side of the diode, which did not have the silver on. Then we're going to connect from the silver side end of the diode onto the resistor. And then from the resistor, we're going to connect on to the ammeter. And once we've got to the ammeter, then we're going to connect back to the power supply. And that should form our main loop of the circuit. And at this point, it's quite a good idea to just turn on our circuit and check that some current is flowing. So that looks good. And the last thing that we need to do is connect in the voltmeter. But the voltmeter is very important, must only be connected across the diode. If you connect it across the resistor, we'll be finding a current potential difference graph of a resistor and not of a diode. So let's carefully connect in. Remember for the voltmeter that we don't have to disconnect anything. And we're going to connect in our voltmeter just across the diode. So it's connected either side of the diode there, not across the resistor. And now we've got our completed circuit. So we're ready to turn on the power supply and that would give us one point on our current potential difference graph for the diode. We can adjust the voltage or potential difference on the power supply here. Notice that we get a lot less potential difference across the diode because some of it will be across the resistor. That's okay because we're only measuring the potential difference across the diode. So once you have adjusted your power supply and measured a range of potential differences across the diode when it's connected in forwards bias, we're then ready to try and get the points for the negative potential difference and negative current. And to do that, like with the resistor, we will need to reverse the connections to the power supply. So we're going to unplug the power supply and what was connected to the negative terminal of the power supply, we put in the positive terminal and what was connected in the positive terminal, we put in the negative terminal. And then you're ready to turn on your power supply and adjust the potential difference to measure the potential difference for and current for the diode connected backwards and we can see we're getting minus 5.1 volts and zero current. You can obviously adjust yours to get lots of points.